Do you hear that? It's coming closer. It started on August 20th, 1990. Police were raiding a small warehouse in New York City under the suspicion of drug trafficking centered upon that building. No evidence was found in the warehouse except for a floppy disk labeled, We Cannot Stop It. Officer Charles F. was assigned with the task of reviewing the contents of the floppy disk. Four days later, he and the floppy disk disappeared. Charles is never seen again. The investigation is closed due to there being no more sufficient evidence after the loss of the floppy disk. On February 28, 1994, Harriet G. of Alabama receives a letter with no return address or stamp. It contains another floppy disk, this one labeled, History Repeats Itself, and a loose leaf sheet of paper with, You Know the Rules, written on it. Harriet inserts the floppy disk onto her computer the same day. Reports from her friends and family indicate that she acted very paranoid and irritable, and repeatedly murmured about something called the shift until March 12, 1994, when she hung herself. Both of the lost We Cannot Stop It and History Repeats Itself discs were found on her corpse. Police confiscated both and several days later they were stolen. No culprit for the theft was ever found. From February 4th, 1998 to February 8th, 1998, Lawrence G. of Illinois receives numerous phone calls from several numbers with unregistered area codes, asking to meet us at Lawrence finally complies, but finds no one else there, only a small black briefcase with the number 4444 printed on it. When he returns home, he finds the briefcase contains a note saying, The shift is coming down. And he had another floppy disk labeled, Shift 4. Lawrence went into a coma four days after uploading the disk to his computer, and was pronounced dead as of July 4, 2002. The Shift 4 disk has since disappeared, but we cannot stop it and history repeats itself are rumored to still be around. In spite of this, no one has ever claimed to know the contents of any of the three floppy disks. This is all of what I've uncovered in my ceaseless research of the little-known paranormal phenomenon called The Shift. My interest was piqued when a friend of mine was repeatedly receiving calls from a number that had an unregistered area code. According to him, each call would begin with an upbeat dial tone jingle and then what sounded like a female operator would say a string of numbers, and then the phrase, We have prepared the way for you. Interested, I started to search up on strange phone calls like these. I came across The Shift, which was basically pieced together over a scattered series of obscure websites and blogs containing small bits of info about it. I collected enough information over several days to formulate the snippets above. This unnerved me slightly, but nevertheless, he and I had thought it was a prank. Until he received the last call from that unregistered number on March 25th, 2010. Which began with a normal dial tone jingle, and then the numbers. And finally, the voice said at such a high volume that even I could hear it from the other room. The shift is coming down. Right after she hung up, his doorbell rang. When we opened the door, there was no one there. Only a small, black briefcase with 55,555 printed on it. It contained a note saying, Return where we began, and a disc labeled Shift 5. Having knowledge of the fates of the previous owners of these discs concerning the shift, I warned him not to put it on his computer. 
but despite my earnest begging, he refused to listen. Thus, I refused to be in the same room as him while he viewed the contents of the disc. Five minutes later, he walks out of the room. Eyes widen and skin as white as a ghost. And falls to the floor, having a massive seizure. He was admitted to the hospital. And just died today. I managed to get my hands on the disc. I have reviewed it just minutes ago and have suffered no life-threatening effects, though I'd rather not post the images it contained. They were... They were very, very mindfuck-worthy. I can't really describe them, but if I posted them here, I can guarantee it would not sit well with many, many people. Anyway... That's my story, and I hope some other people might know something about the shift. So maybe you guys can help 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 me figure this thing out. It started on August twentieth. The shift is coming. It is my conclusion that the shift is merely a myth. Please ignore this thread and move along.